Okay, I got into my spindles, and most of them were really too fat and too chunky. I don't know. I might try one of them, but I had some longer pieces I had. I cut the and I cut them up, and I've already made one, and I thought it looked really cute to do them up and have them in a grouping. So. I'm going to do that, and I tried one. I don't know what I did, but I had this crackle, folk art crackle medium. It might be because it's old. I don't know, but it was still, still, it still had the seal on it. I bought it for 25 cents at the thrift store, but I put it on here and then put my orange on, and it didn't crackle, so I'm going to go back to my Elmer's glue. That was faster anyway, because it said to let put that crackle medium on, let it air dry, and then put the paint on it. And it it just didn't it it didn't work. So I'm going back to my Elmer's glue. And I'm gonna put a coat of my Elmer's glue on here. And I had to water it down. I hope it works because it was really thick with that one or the other one that I done. I might let it just dry just a little bit till it starts getting tacky. And I know my hand's probably in the way, but. Yeah, I think I'm gonna let that dry for just a little bit or hit it, hit it with my heat gun's what I'll do. Where's my jack of water? Right, where's my heat gun? And I'll turn the camera off to do this because it's gonna be noisy, but I, it won't take me long. Okay, it's tacky still, so now put some orange out. Try it. Now, I think I got it all coated. Let's see one little spot right there. Now I'm gonna let that dry and see how it crackles. Well, they've all dried now. Got them crackled. Some of them crackle better than the others. But I'm gonna now. I'm gonna take them and put some of the uh, folk art home decor wax for the antiquing wax on them. This is gonna make my hands messy. Gonna smear it on. I 
hope I was in frame. These spindles must have been off a little rocking chair or something. They were all just kind of thicker in the middle and thinner on the sides. And this was the center of it. You can see where the things went more thin spindles went down through there. With all my other spindles are just really not tapered. They're just fat. If I want more, I might try them. I don't know. But I just need a few. back to the first one I done and wipe this down. Let's put a little age on it. Dang. Right where my hands was. Be okay. I like the way those look. Okay, now I'm going to turn off the camera because I'm going to have to stand up and go down there, but I'm going to take my drill and go in the middle there and clip me off some greenery and glue some down in the middle for the tops. And I might put a little something. Here's this one that I've done. I might put something around here. I'm not sure. But we'll see. But I'm going to get my holes drilled right now. Well, after making my carrots, you got to have a bunny, right? So I just went out to, uh, well, I went on the Silhouette Studio and got me a bunny pattern and I cut it out and sized it the size I wanted it and cut it out in a piece of uh, cardstock, traced it on some wood and went to my scroll saw and cut it out. And the board was all pretty much that color right there but I did take some uh, uh, I mixed this vinegar oh my vinegar and a little bit of water and it's coming out dripping and steel wool and let it set for oh well it's been setting for two weeks first time I've used it but I think you have to leave it setting for about 24 to 36 hours and it makes your wood, your newer wood, look old. So now I'm just going to, I'm just going to paint the fronts, the plaster by Waverly. And maybe distress it a little bit and then maybe put a little messy bow or something on the front. It's going to be simple. It'll be simple and easy. But that's what I'm going to do, and once I get this painted and figure out what I'm going to do with it, I'll come back and show you. It's just a simple, easy silhouette of a bunny. Well, I went into my software on Silhouette Studio, and I went into the store and picked out a bunny and the carrot cut them out with my cameo and now I'll trace them off on probably some uh, muslin well I traced them off I went ahead and done three carrots and one bunny and I've traced them off and now I'm just going to take my scissors and cut them out 
All right, with my bunnies, or bunny, I'm just going to use my hot glue. And first off, I'm going to glue. I've already been around like this. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'll do each side of the face, and then I'm going to take my fiber fill and stuff it up in there before I do anything else. So it won't be so hard to, uh, I wish I had some fabric glue because I would really use fabric glue, but all my fabric glue has dried up. So to me, it seems to be easier to handle than hot glue. Guess I could run to the sewing machine, but I'm gonna just hot glue. Okay, now I'm gonna get my fiber fill. Here I have some something to stuff with. Get rid of these before I lose them. stuff my ears first stuffing little bitty projects is not easy and that's not even wanting to go up in there I can get it started. I can get it up in there. It's just getting it started. And there I have some that's coming open. Yeah, I'd rather use regular glue. And walk away and let them dry good. I see up there at the tip it's not glued to. I don't know what I'm doing. I want that ear dry. I think I took to what I'm doing wrong is I was trying to go too far around before I stopped. And then by the time I got ready to seal it, the hot glue was already drying on me. So you're just going to have to go a little bit at a time. This is my first bunny, so at, usually after the first one I've learn some lessons. Gotta take your time.
Now, I'm just going to continue stuffing this and not going quite so far in between stopping and putting the fabric together because it is hot glue and it does start cooling right away. I don't know why this is, I think I need a little smaller. That's too small. I don't know if this is any smaller. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and continue stuffing this. And I'll stuff a little bit here, and then I'm gonna start probably about right here and go around and do the, so I can get this in here to do the feet. And then I'll do one side of the belly and stuff it good and then close it off there. So, but I really need to get this up closer to me and I'm trying to stay in frame of the camera and I really need to get it up closer to me so I can really see just what I'm doing. But I am going to continue stuffing this and I'll be back. All right, that was way easier after I was able to bring it up to me and work like right here and I went in smaller areas. It was way easier to work with the glue gun and getting it stuffed. So it didn't take me long at all. Now, I'm going to paint this bunny. I could leave it this color, but I'm going to paint it to give it some texture. And I'm going to use this uh, Waverly Chalk Ink, and the color is Cashew. It's not too far off from the color of the bunny. I'm just going to paint it all over and let it dry. And then I'm going to paint, a, or not paint, but probably use, well, I'm going to put a face on it and stuff. Little whiskers and a nose. But I'm going to continue on here and paint this up, let it dry, and then paint the face. And when I go to do the face, I'll come back so you can see how I do that. Now, I'm going to start on my carrot. I'm going to start at the bottom because I'm going to leave the top to stuff, to use for stuffing the stuffing. And I'm just going to do a little bit because, like I said, it goes so much easier if I'm on it and I can tell what I'm doing. Yeah. But anyways, I'm going to continue on doing this. I'm going to go all the way around up to here, and then I'll stuff my carrot. All right, I have it stuffed, and I went and cut this off of some garland that I got at Hobby Lobby, and I'm just going to glue that down in there. Got away if cool just a little bit because it'll melt this. Okay, I'm gonna hold it up in the middle. And try to glue this shut while I'm holding that. Okay, have patience and wait for it to dry a little bit. Now go over on this side. Okay, and hold that. Okay, that's all glued. Take my little scissors and cut that glue off that I squeezed out. Now, I've got some paint here I'm going to paint these with, and it's the Anita's 
I believe that's the uh, Hobby Lobby brand, and the color is pumpkin. No. And I'll just paint these all over, too. As you can see, I'm doing the, letting the rabbit dry right here. Well, and went on with the carrot. But I had to clean up the rabbit color because I didn't want it coming off on my carrot while I was painting. All right, I'm going to finish on. Painting this, letting them both dry. And then I'm going to put a face on my bunny rabbit. And find something maybe to tie around the neck and decorate it a little bit. And I'm not sure what I'll do. I may on both of them give them a color of the, or put the, some of my uh, cinnamon coffee stain on them. So I'll have to... But I wonder if I should let my face dry on my bunny. Before, or I mean, put the face on and let it dry before I do that or after. I think I'm going to paint the face and then put the coffee cinnamon mixture on them. And go from there. All right, guys. I'll be back. My bunny and my carrots are now dry, and I want to put a face on my bunny, so I'm going to use my some Sharpies. All right, I'm going to start about right here, and I'm just going to put an oval. And then I'm going to go to this side. And put an oval and my cat is fixing to come down here kitty cat you're making me lose my train of thought now I'm just gonna put some little eyebrows and I need it it needs a nose No, cat, you don't need to try to knock that off. Kit Kat, Cassie, no, stop. Let's kind of put a little triangle in. It should have been over, but I was looking up at my cat. Holy moly. Make it go over. I better stop. Kind of outline that to. And now I'll just bring it down for a mouth. And I'll put some little whiskers on him. better stop right there or I'll mess it up. Okay, then for my carrots, I forgot to put his cheeks on there. Well, I'll let it dry for a little bit. I'm going to try to just kind of go in like this where there's natural indentations of the hot glue. You know, carrots have the ridge. Okay, that's all I'm going to put on that one. And I have 
this one. <laughs> She's playing with my <laughs> carrot top. I should have locked the door, locked her out, or not locked the door, but shut the door. Alright, that's good. Alright, where's my now? Give the cheeks. This is uh, just, uh, what am I trying to say? Stuff for your cheeks? I can't even think when I get on the camera. Blush. There you go, blush. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of, I'm going to let that dry a bit because I am going to go over carrots and I've already I've done one carrot here you can't tell a big difference but I think you'll tell more of a difference on the bunny but my coffee and cinnamon I'm gonna go over all of them with that and they'll have to dry and then I'll put something probably around the bunnies oh yeah I wanted to I wasn't finished I got the ears In the ears. Had to get the ears. Now, put this one over here. And I don't want to spill this like I did last time, like I do every time. I think this is the brush I've been using. I'm going to have to let my bunny dry because, well, I'll do that. I was going to put a little white dot on each side of the eye, but I'm going to wait because that's paint, and I want to get this done. And I'll let it dry, and then I'll put the little white on it. It looks really dark, but when it dries, I would think it would dry darker, so... That one didn't dry as dark, so I might just leave some more of the cinnamon on. Let it go a little darker. And I'll put these down there in front of my heater that I have running in here. I'm sure you can hear it running in the background, but it gets cold in here if I don't let it run. These were also fun to make. I could make them, I think, a lot faster next time. Of course, everybody makes the cloth bunnies and the carrots, but I wanted to try it. And everybody has their own little spin on it, does it their own way. And it's always interesting to see what everybody else does. I enjoy watching other people also. And I always think, oh, that's such a cute idea. I think my carrots could have been a little fatter, but they're okay. All right, I'm gonna set all this aside. Well, now I gotta do my bunny because I didn't do my eyes. Well, I can do my bunny. so much of the cinnamon on this one. I think that's going to be cute. 
a lot of things I make that I'm going to take in to sell, I end up keeping it. That breadboard that I done in the another video, the one with the burned edges, <laughs> I kept it. I liked the way it was on my kitchen bar. I thought it was cute and I kept it. All right, so I'm going to finish on getting this coated, let them dry, and then figure out if I'm going to put something on the tops of the carrots or I'm going to leave them the way they are. Yeah, I probably enjoyed this as much as I did making the wood bunny I made. Dab that off a bit. It's plenty dark enough. And of course, I got some cat hair. Of course. I don't know. I just thought I needed a cat. I've had them all my life and I didn't have one. Our last one passed away and I said, told my husband, don't let me get another cat. We're Wanting to be free and be able to travel and do things, eh, ain't gonna happen. So I got me another cat. Key cat. Here's a key cat. Oh, there's UPS. I wonder what I got today. Oh, oh, I know what it is. Man, they had him drive all the way out here for cheesecloth. My UPS driver doesn't like me. Because he has to come way, way out in the country. It takes him 40 to 45 minutes to get here. <laughs> he used to try to leave it in my business at town, in town. But I don't go into town all the time and I complain and now he brings it. All right guys, I'm gonna let those dry and figure out where I'm gonna go from there. Well, I have an overabundance of springs. I mean, I have a whole box full and I still have a bed out there that's just full of them. So I'm going to make a spring uh, decor. And I had this here in my stash and I just took it up underneath there and kind of, you know, wound it around like that. And you can see part of it sticking out. And I will take my glue gun up underneath here and glue it down in a couple places where it won't come off, although I don't think it would. Then I've got some uh, Spanish moss here that, that I'm going to glue down on it. And from there, I don't know what I'm going to do, but that's where I'm starting with this spring. Well, so far... This is where I'm at with my nest. And I think I'm gonna to try to put some kind of a, not bobo, but some material down here with the uh, tag hanging on it. But I'm gonna keep working on it. I'm gonna make a little tag to go on my bird's nest. So, let's try and cut a piece off like this. Just some muslin. A little cricket there. I gotta get this off. I'm going to fold it in half. And just put a little curve on it. And the scissors are not the sharpest. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, that'll work. Now, these are just a little stamp set that I got from uh, Timu. Timu? Yeah. I really like them. They're cute. They have the little bottles that you can put the stamps down in for the florals. But I'm going to use, I think, this one. And I'm going to use some stays on ink. Will that fit on there? Yep. See how it looks. Yep, I like it. It's cute. back. <clears throat> Let's see. What did I do with those? I got those out. And this is the smallest stamps I have for lettering. It's an old, I guess, metal. My husband brought it to me out of the garage. Want to know if I want it? Sure. I'll take it. I think they're actually used to stamp with a deal, you know, where you stamp on metal. But I need a small, some small lettering. I gotta make sure I'm turning this upright. Nope, I had it upside down, I think. Yep. Okay. In. There's the E. Upside down. Okay, I'm going to have to pull this forward so I can E upside down. I think I went off to the left. Oh, well, that's okay. That's one. That's right. T. Not perfect, but it's not supposed to be, I don't think. All right. Put those back in there. Get that out of my way. Now, I'm going to heat set that a little bit. Okay, I turned the... Uh, volume down on that, but I did tell you I used the stays on. Now, I'm going to take my coffee and cinnamon mixture and pour it all over everything. down in the bottom so I can get some cinnamon. Cinnamon. And just put it on there. Pat the excess off so it doesn't have take as long to dry. the back all right now I'm gonna kind of take it and scrunch it then I'm gonna set it aside and let it dry So it can go on my little hang off my bird's nest off my spring. All right, I've put out kind of a messy bow on it, and I'm fixing to put the tag on it. But I wanted to give that bottom part just a little color, 
So I'm just using some blush here and just going around the edges of the material. I can't hardly do it one-handed, but I did want to show you what I was doing. And then I'll put it on there and that'll give it just a, a little color. So I'm almost finished with this. Here are all the projects that i done in this video. And to start with, here's the little wood bunny that I cut out. And here we have the spindle carrots. And there's the rusty spring that I put the nest on. Then we'll go up here and there's the cloth bunny. And then I took the cloth carrots and stuck them in a, a mat, the top of the match can. I got the match can at a thrift store one time and I made it over and I've just stuck the carrots in that. And I have all this in my tear tray for the spring. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and until the next one, we'll see you later.